Hey Pisces, thanks for tuning in for your weekly forecast for August 26th through September 1st. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to connect and see what's coming up for you in the week ahead. We're going to pull some cards from this deck and get some messages for you. And then after we look at these cards, I'm going to pull a spirit message for you from a different deck so let's see what's coming up for pisces we got that new moon on the 30th so we'll see how that's affecting you as well here's your monday tuesday oh well I, that jumped out i guess that's your wednesday thursday and then your friday saturday and sunday all right so let's jump right on in here your monday tuesday pisces Ooh, you have broken okay so this is really interesting because what you have here is this seashell. And on the surface, it looks whole. It looks complete. But if you were to peek underneath the surface, you see right in there, there's like a little broken piece. But it's covered. It's hidden. Okay? And Pisces, I feel this is how a lot of you have been. Right? Because like you've been holding it together. You've been making things happen. You've been working really hard you've been being very responsible but you haven't had a whole lot of time to stop and take a look at what you need or what might be missing from your life pisces you all are very giving you're very generous you're very much the kind of people that you're always putting the needs of others ahead of you okay and so you're beginning to realize that hey you know what I need to take a little bit of a break and I need to take care of me. I need to see what I'm missing. I need to see how I can maybe patch up my wounds here. Uh, some of you in true Pisces nature, you may be doing this with someone else or you may be healing a situation uh, because you might be um, connecting with a person and they may have really wronged you or hurt you in some way. But I feel like there's some guidance like a divine intervention or information that's coming to you intuitively um, or your angels or guides are helping you to see certain facts about the situation that bigger picture behind the scenes kind of stuff where you're realizing and you're seeing the way in which this person is broken and so this is in some way helping you to heal or helping you to realize that hey you know what maybe i'm not going to take this personally you know, there, there's a lot going on here that has nothing to do with me. And sure, it's like it, it's unfortunate that I had to have this experience with this person. But at the end of the day, this is their problem. This isn't my problem. I don't have to carry it anymore. So it could be something being uncovered, something coming to the surface, some missing piece of the puzzle that you needed to get closure so you could move past the situation. So that's what it's feeling to me for um, certain ones of you. These are general readings, so the energy is going to apply in different ways. And I always try to go over the different scenarios that I'm picking up on because you know, it's not going to be the same exact thing for every single Pisces out there. Your Wednesday, Thursday card Pisces is abundance, right? Who doesn't want that? That's fabulous. That's wonderful. Okay. So you're coming into this abundant energy in the middle of the week. And the thing that I love about this card is that treasure chest really jumps out at me. And so it's definitely this feeling of like, you know, really positive changes coming in that are going to be very long lasting, that are going to be permanent, right? We're not talking about abundance like, oh, you know, a lottery scratcher or, oh, somebody gave you five bucks or, oh, you got a, a bonus at work. Those things are great. Don't get me wrong. We're all happy when we get them, right? But this abundance that's coming in, it's substantial. I mean, look at that treasure chest. It's, it's got a lot of stuff in it. It's worth a lot. There's a lot of value there. And so I feel whatever's coming in is going to be long-term. Pisces, a lot of you are coming out of a family uh, line of like money trouble or like a generational block or a generational curse of like money problems you're coming out of it and i feel like you're for the first time in your life or for the first time in a long time you're beginning to establish a savings 
like what you're able to save for your future, uh, for property, for retirement, for kids, for whatever it is that you're wanting to do, for travel, maybe all of the above, you're beginning to see that, wow, I have a savings. I'm establishing a savings. The, the, the steps that I'm taking financially is actually working. So it's like you're having this epiphany, your eyes are being opened, that you're not cursed when it comes to money, that you can handle your money, that you can have abundance coming in for you. So I do feel like a lot of you are beginning to feel more optimistic about your future or you're beginning to see uh, progress in your financial goals or hopes or plans. Um, another thing too is I feel like a lot of you are becoming a lot smarter with your money where you're looking into ways that not only can you save it, but in a way where it's going to be like making more money for you, right? Because, um, you know, sometimes we think, oh, I'm going to put it in the bank. But we don't realize that if we took that money, and again, I'm no money expert, but we don't realize that if we took that money and if we invested it in something like a, um, a, 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 some kind of, a, I don't know, investment, I told you I'm not a money manager by any means, but there are certain accounts or investments that we can put it in that over time that money grows and it becomes worth more money and it gathers way more interest than it would if it was just kind of sitting in the bank. So some of you are even getting really smart about that kind of thing. You're reading up about it. You're getting knowledgeable. Maybe you're going and you're seeing a financial advisor who's giving you good advice on, you know, what to do or, you know, how to make your money grow for you. But there's definitely a sense here of taking what you have and, and making it multiply making it expand, making it grow, making it be even more. Um, and again, I feel like this is a big, big, big accomplishment for you. It's something that you like, like it's a symbolic victory. It's not just about like materialism, like oh, money, 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 money. You know, it's also, it's a symbolic victory that, you know, I can do this, that I'm not stuck, that I, I do have power in this situation and I can better my circumstances. Um, some of you, I feel like you're really relieved because you've been very stressed out about college or educational fees for your children and something is happening midweek where this is coming in or like a, a door of possibility is opening up. Um, and that's being taken care of as well. Again, a very specific message, but my thing is if I hear it, I have to say it. And that definitely came in for some of you. Okay, let's go ahead and check out your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the new moon energy. Let's see what's coming up in the new moon energy for Pisces. I'm like going to laugh right now. This card has come up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for so many of the signs. And I shuffled. You all saw me shuffle. But here it is withdrawn okay so i've felt different energies in different ways for different ones of you okay the way that i'm feeling it for you guys pisces is i do feel in this new moon energy um a lot of you and pisces you guys are a moon sensitive sign you guys are very sensitive to moon energy. At least a lot of the Pisces that I know are very sensitive to moon energy. You guys are associated with the moon after all. I mean, come on. How could you not be moon sensitive? But I feel like this new moon energy, because it's such an intense new moon, and it has like, you know, Mars and Venus and Mercury and all of these influencing planets. It's a fast moving energy. It's very potent. And it's bringing in a lot of progress and a lot of change for a lot of us in very quick ways. For those of us who set our intention and stick to it, we're gonna be able to manifest some really great things here. And you're already beginning to experience the beginning of that this week. I mean, even before we get into the new moon energy and start doing the work to try to manifest over that new moon period, you're already receiving, you know, before we even have that intention setting moment. So, I do feel Pisces for you guys, the way that I'm feeling the this withdrawn card for you guys, it feels to me like you're feeling very, um, a, like you're kind of struggling with receiving. I'm going to be flat out honest with you. I feel like you're struggling with receiving. I feel like a part of you is feeling guilty 
for the abundance that you're coming into and you're feeling like maybe you should hand it over to somebody else. Like, oh, I know a lot of people that are having a hard time financially. I've got this money in the bank. Instead of investing it, maybe I should share it with my siblings or maybe I should give it to this person or that person or, you know, this person's having a hard time. And so I feel like guidance is coming in where your angels and guys are telling you, look, it's really beautiful that you want to help other people. It's really beautiful that you want to be there for other people, but you need to think about yourself in your future because who's going to give you money later when you're older or who's going to give you money later, you know, if, if you need it or if your kids need it, like you need to have this set aside for you. It's not greedy that you have it set aside for you. It's a matter of your survival. It's a matter of your preservation. Now, it's going to be good and you will have opportunities in the future to be generous and to give to charity and to give to people who need it. But you can't always go around giving it to every single person who wants it or every single person who needs it. So what I would do if I were you, Pisces, because I do feel a lot of you are, are struggling with giving yourself permission to hold on to this abundance that's coming in is, you know, maybe say a prayer, take it up in prayer, take it up in meditation and ask your angels and guides and ask God to help you to, to know the wisdom of when to be generous, when is an appropriate time for generosity and, and to balance how generous you're being so that you're not being generous to a fault, so that you're not being generous to a degree where it's going to hurt you or, you know, hurt your, hurt, hurt your children in some way, right? Like you need to, you need, you need to ask for help and guidance with that. Okay. I do also feel, um, Pisces that a lot of you are really going to maybe deal with someone that's going to make you feel guilty. This guilt is coming up because somebody's making you feel selfish. Like, look, you have so much. Why can't you just give me this, right? But I feel like it's a negative or a toxic energy. So I do feel with that purple coming in that a lot of you are going to be connecting or having Archangel Michael come in and helping you to take some time to cut these toxic cords and to protect you from absorbing this negativity. So Archangel Michael is coming in and helping you to be more assertive, helping you to feel safe, helping you to, you know, stay away from that toxic drama and to disconnect from it and to know that you're protected as you're, as you're, you know, coming into this path of receiving and, you know, coming into these successes and this abundance. Let's go ahead and see what your spirit message is for the week, Pisces. And as always, I always say, be sure to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks those are going to resonate with you more or bring you a little extra information that can be very helpful. And as always, those of you who like the cards and you want to know more about them, I always have links in the description to the card decks if you want to check them out. All right, Pisces, so you have the Nyx. Calm waters reflect clearer images than rough waters. So this withdrawn period coming up for you in the end of the week is actually going to be very helpful because like I said, some of you are feeling guilty. Some of you are feeling agitated. Somebody might even be putting you on a built on a bit of a guilt trip. So for you to be in this withdrawn energy is a good thing because it's going to help you to kind of calm your emotions because Pisces, we know that you guys you guys have big hearts, you have big emotions, and it's very easy for you to get like a lot of anxiety because of your feelings. And if you're in that anxiety, it's very hard for you to think clearly. And so this is saying this calm water is going to help you to see solutions. If you can just kind of take a minute and step away from the situation and calm your spirit and calm your heart, you're going to see the solutions. So you just need to take a breather, okay? Some of you, it's going to be a good idea to make sure you're being on top of your meditation, that you're staying on top of your um, your stress relief, you know, whatever it is that you're doing to make sure that you're in that calmer spirit, okay? And two is coming up two times here, so it's emphasizing the number two. Two is a number that asks you to keep the faith. 
Two is the number that asks you to believe that things are going to work out, that you're going to have the appropriate help at the appropriate time. If we were to reduce these by adding them together, 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 4 is a number that lets you know your angels are working on your behalf. They've got your back, they're on your side, and they're making things happen for you behind the scenes. They're laying a foundation for you, they're laying a stability for you, and it's going to work out. You just need to believe and be in that calm spirit and not let your emotions get the best of you, okay? Especially when you're so proud of yourself for all of the positive changes that you're bringing in your life, to have somebody come in and make you feel guilty about it or someone come in and be a hater, that can be very hurtful. But Spirit is saying, don't let that bring you down. You know, stay focused, stay in that clarity and know that you're being guided to these positive, happy outcomes. Again, my dears, check out your moon sign and rising sign. Um, you may need a private reading. I'm more than happy to do that for you. If you click on the Calendly link in the description of the video, it will take you to my private calendar where you can schedule a private reading with me. Um, some of you may want more love life reading, more love life subject. Um, I do those separate on my channel. If you click on the love reading link in the description of the video, it will take you to the August readings. If you haven't already watched the love videos for August, feel free to do so. But in a couple of days, the September love readings are going to be up. And I'm going to have those up for you um, in the next day or two. So if you haven't already hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that. And you'll get a notification when the love readings are up in a couple of days. I'm also going to do the cross watcher videos as well. I thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Have a fabulous week, Pisces.